Hey guys, got something new to show you today. Today I found a blaster box of Select 2020 Baseball. This appears to be new for 2020. I looked on the internet, didn't see anything from prior years, nor do I know if there's a mega box or anything else. Uh, this blaster box was all I saw. And it is super light because there is only 12 cards inside. So you're looking at, you know, this was a $20 blaster per usual. But instead of the, you know, 67 to 72 cards you'd get with Tops Series 1 or with Heritage, you're getting 12 cards at a cost of about 166 a card, which is crazy. You know, I'm not... A big fan that Panini cannot put the logos on the on the players or on the card anywhere. They can't even put the the team name, I guess, which is kind of annoying in a sense. Select is a beautiful product. Uh, you know, we've seen it with football and basketball. Uh, the hobby for Select Baseball has already came out, so we've we've seen some of that as well. The other thing that kind of annoys me about Panini is there are absolutely no odds on here. You know, with tops. You can, you know, oh, I pulled an autograph. One, uh, one out of every 300 and some packs have that. With this, you really don't know, which is kind of unfortunate. But like I said, they're cool looking cards. You can get into these die cuts, which it says ultra rare. Who knows how rare it is? That's a cool looking card. Um, it says we got three scope parallels in here. So let's open it and see what we got inside. I have not seen this opened yet. Uh, I'm pretty certain this just came out today, so kind of excited. Hopefully, I did go online before starting this video up just to see, you know, what are these these guys in the background, what are their base cards going for, and I wouldn't expect anything much more than like five bucks. So if you're a person out there that's hoping to kind of make your money back in this, I would probably steer clear of this because... It's going to take a minor miracle, I think, in order to get your 20 bucks recouped. But let's see what pack number one has in store for us. Let's see how beautiful these things are in person. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, Sean Mania. I think it's Mania. Cool looking tad on there. Belt's a little loose. Like I said, no number. I, you can have the... The jersey number, I guess. You just can't have the logos and stuff like that. And it's only going to say Oakland. And here's what we're looking on the back. You know, it looks a lot like what we saw with, with football and basketball, as expected. They're nice-looking cards. We have a... These are called, I think, a prism still with select. Joey Votto. We'll uh, check on the back here. Prism right there at the top. Here's an insert of Josh Hader for the Brewers. And we have a Susugo. We'll have to have the buff man tell me if I pronounce that right. So not not the rookie we're looking for. Pack number two. Looks like we got something shiny here. Maybe a couple shiny things. Charlie Blackman's going to lead us off. And we have a Julio Terrain for the Angels. This is a scope. So this is one of our scopes. I think we were told three, right? Not numbered. What do we got here? Anyone that, if you're new here, I'm a big Buster Posey fan, big Giants fan. So this must be a Buster Posey insert, select stars. And we have a Marcus Sim Seaman for the Oakland A's. So this is the is it field level in football, what do they call it here? Premier. Prism, these are kind of the, the ones you're you're looking for. You're looking for the big rookies in, in this sort of format. And let's see if 
last pack can save us here. You know, are we going to get two scopes out of out of this pack, or is Panini going to lie on their boxes? Which I kind of have a feeling might be the case. Maybe I just got super unlucky, but Alberto Mondesi. We got another sh something shiny back here. We got a Aaron Nola. The scope. Again, these are not numbered. We got... This must be an insert. Hot Rookies. Aristides Aquino. It's kind of a cool looking little flame or something on there. And we got a Jesus Lazardo. Also, uh, what did I say this was? A Premier. So, rookie for the A's. Again, not the rookies we're looking for. I didn't expect to hit anything super cool out of there. You know, again, we don't know how how rare those die cuts are. We have no idea. Um, unfortunately, they don't tell us on the box. So, you know, they're cool looking cards. I probably won't be picking any more up. Um, but if you guys do decide to pick it up, uh, good luck to you guys. Let me know if you guys hit anything cool out of these blasters. Maybe, you know, I just got an unlucky one. But like I said, I was only willing to, to take a chance on one of them. And, you know, this is kind of what I expected. So, you know, don't get your hopes up too much, but have fun doing it nonetheless. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos if you're new here. I'd love a subscription if you like this. I, I try to do this as much as possible. You know, it's hard to get retail products these days, but, you know, we're, we're trying. So hope you guys are being safe out there and we'll see you next time.